Welcome back everybody. So guys, we've learned a lot of things of the HTML5. You just need to make sure that you're practicing and practicing continuously, then we can just go more. So what I'm just gonna teach you, before just teaching you about the forms, about the HTML5 forms, I'm just thinking to teach you about the CSS forms, then at the last, we'll apply the CSS on the form too, on the HTML5 form too. It will make, it will make the form more beautiful and interesting. So guys, I'm just I'm just starting from there. What I'm just doing, I'm just putting a simple div here, okay, and uh, I'm adding an any specific ID with this div, the div one, and I'm just setting some properties with this. I'm going there at the top, and what I'm just doing more, I'm just opening this style tag, this style tag, okay, and I'm just going inside this style tag and the div one, awesome. Go inside the div one and put something like uh, the background color. The color I'm just putting as uh, the blue or orange, whatever you prefer. So I'm just I just put it the orange, and something more I need, you know, the width. Some specific width is really required. The pixels, 200 pixels, and the 200 pixels as height. And what more I'm just doing? I'm just creating a, a simple border right now. The border is one px solid sorry about the spelling solid and black great save and refresh this is the element I've created but I just want to apply some more things I'm just talking about the borders about the backgrounds and about the gradient background in this class I'll just try to cover out the gradient background too I wish I will so first of all we just know about we just know a lot more things about the border so I'm just gonna teach you to how to add the radius to the background okay so before learning that I should make the background more clear oh, sorry not the background sorry about that the border more clear okay and now I'm just gonna apply the elements to the border so go there and put up the border radius really simple how much radius you want for at the borders uh, especially the corner of the borders okay I just want the 10 pixels radius so 10 pixels and refresh the 10 pixels radius is here now you can see that the end image is beautifully converted not the image sorry the element is beautifully converted into the uh, radius full corners looking awesome and great even if you just apply this around the 100 pixels refresh okay it's looking like the ball we can create the ball too okay the 110 and refresh now it it, it's, it make it uh, it makes uh, it, it a complete ball if I just uh, apply the one 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 ten because all the corners molded as much as it, they can and it make it, it turn into a ball so right now I'm just applying the 10 pixels this is the square but with the rounded corners awesome and what more I can do if I just press enter or if I just duplicate this and the div 2 and I simply copy all the detail and paste there and the div tube but I'm just removing the border radius so save and refresh this is the by default element okay so now I'm just thinking to add some more things I'm just setting the float left first because I'm just gonna apply a lot more elements so float left uh, and the float left back refresh the both are in front of each other the margin around 10 pixels will be cool copy and paste and refresh okay perfect now what I'm just gonna do and there add the border again but right now I'm not adding the border oh wait for a while now the border top left radius so save and go to the browser only the top and left radius okay so what the radius do you want I just want a 20 pixels of radius at the top left so refresh now let's just see this is completely cleared but this element has the border only the top left element uh, the top left corner so the 50 and refresh it's looking more beautiful even you can duplicate it and the top right too so refresh now the top right has the border too it can make a beautiful shape so why not I just put the bottom right you will see now it's looking beautiful yeah it's looking and the bottom left to sorry save and refresh now now you can see that it actually uh, making an in, uh, ind indication to whatever you can make the beautiful images like that uh, by using the border elements 
So now it turns to the background. I'm just going to the div one and uh, removing the simple orange background. I'm just gonna apply the gradient background for this. Okay. So what I'm just doing, I'm removing the orange background color and applying the gradient. The spelling should be really, really clear. And just mention what the colors do you want gradiently. So I just want the orange first. Okay, the orange. And then I just want the red then. Red color, okay. Add a comma and put two colors, okay. So gradiently we'll get these two colors. Refresh and now. Oh my god, something wrong here. I just didn't mention which type of gradient I want. I want the linear gradient for now. Then we'll apply the um, no the radi the radial gradient too. Refresh now. You can see that the two colors are here, the orange and the red. So now I now I think you you understood that how to apply the simple linear gradient with the simple method. Just apply the colors and uh, which colors do you want gradiently and which type you want the linear gradient. You can put more colors as much as you want. I'm adding the brown one and refreshing now. The brown is there, okay? You can cut the brown and paste the brown first before before the red. You can do in any way you want refresh now. This is another interesting thing, looking more beautiful actually. Or if, if, if I just cut the orange and paste you know, just after the brown and remove the extra comma and refresh now. This is another style, but exactly the, the old one was looking more beautiful, this one, because it's it's uh, a beautiful style. By the way, in this way, you can apply the colors, the gradient colors, but something more you must learn about the gra linear gradient, because it can disturb you. If you just go there, you can see that the color is starting, the gr grade is starting from the top to bottom. I want from the left to right, okay? So go before the orange, before the very first color, just put to right, the direction where you want to go, the color. So refresh now. It's going to right from the from the left to right. If you just want from the right to left, so let's just type to left and refresh. It's going from the right to left. Now this is interesting, I know, but if you just want the, um, I'm just copying this one and applying to there or why not I just create a new one to make it more practiceful the linear gradient okay so first of all I'm just putting the colors I just want the green the light green the light blue save and refresh now this is the color effect I applied and looking awesome so now here I'm just applying the two left oh the space is necessary to left and the comma and refresh now this is the style I applied looking awesome to you but if you just want the diagonal effect diagonal so to bottom oh yeah the bottom left without any line break or something just simply refresh now to bottom left okay it's starting uh, it's starting from top right to bottom left okay or you can say the to top left from bottom right refresh looking awesome and in this way we can create the gradient with the diagonal way too there is something more you must know about the gradients uh, so I'm gonna guide you about that too just duplicate this and div 3 and simply copy this one okay and this should be the div 3 so right now I'm not gonna teach you about the uh, gradient, uh, the diagonal way. I'm just gonna teach you about the angle, the 30 deg. I just want to turn then these colors on from the 30 degree. So refresh now, 30 degree, or you can put the 45 degree. Oh sorry, not the 4500. Refresh now the 45 degree. You can put the 75 degree to refresh. This is the 75 degree and you can apply the 150 degree save and refresh this is the 150 degree okay you can move them by the angle wise so guys i'm just gonna copy this div 3 and i'm just making this div 4 because i'm just gonna teach you another interesting thing i think you're learning very well so i'm removing this background okay i'm, I'm putting another one the radial background very easy very simple just need to apply the following things which I'm just doing 
just put the colors which you want I just want in a center or first of all just put the green again the light green and the light blue I just applied three colors so refresh now this is a circle a style I think you've got that but I just did and this is looking awesome too because this is the radial effect and exactly you can apply a lot of techniques to it for example the complete div or the complete element is 100% I just want the green as the 5% of the complete one the 5% okay and then um, the 50% of 50% uh, of the div should be filled, fulfilled from the 5 to 50% fulfilled with the light green and from the 50% to the 100% the light blue so refresh and it just little changed but if you just want to apply the green color around 20 pixels from the 20, 20 pixels to the 50 pixels okay basically 0 to 20 pixels is green 20 to 50 pixels is light green 50 to 100 is the refresh now the green you can see that the green is glowing more and if you just want to make the light green more so let's just put this uh, 60 pixels okay now the 20 to 60 is light green the 60 to 100 is light blue so save and go to the browser back and refresh okay it's looking beautiful and awesome and in this way you can create some beautiful effects on the radial gradient too and in this way you can create the interesting and gradient graphical background we'll learn some more things in the next class so guys let me leave we'll meet in the next class stay tuned goodbye tada